This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. It's Monday. Do you need some Monday motivation? The Shop Local for Good News team is here. I'm Karina Morrison, and we're bringing you the good news stories of our neighbors doing good in our neighborhoods. You can find us on Facebook Live on the Shop Local for Good page, and we're looking forward to your calls. Let's get this Shop Local for Good News conversation started, shall we? And good morning, Tampa Bay. This is Karina Morrison with Shop Local for Good News. And you are tuned in live to Monday Motivation. And we have a special guest today. The theme of today's show is growing collaborations. So that's why one of the reasons why our guest is so special that she's got a gorgeous singing voice. Um, We have lots of great news, upcoming events, stuff to share. We are also live on Shop Local for Goods Facebook page. So if you're, you know, still in your PJs because the 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 time change has got y'all messed up, hop on Facebook and see what we look like on this Monday motivation of time change. With the dark circles under our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, first of all, let me introduce my, fr- my dear friend, Kathy McGuire. We've been friends for well over a decade. I think so. Yeah. Well, that makes us sound really old, but yes. Well, we we, we could have been childhood friends. That's true. That's true. We we actually are very young. Very young. <laughs> yes. So, um, actually, Kathy and I met because um, we we're both uh, excited about getting active in our community. Mm-hmm. So we we were of, we're of the same mindset. We want to make positive changes in our planet. Absolutely. Especially locally. Absolutely. And we're both a member of a um, a mommy group of women that wanted to do the same thing. So mm-hmm. it was all it was all good. Yes it was. Yep. So and we did good things. We empowered a lot of moms. In the you area. especially did. Yeah. You really stuck with it. I went on to do music stuff, but that was inspired. <laughs> but it kind of got me going because I'd been sick for a long time and it got me, you know, it gave me purpose. It right. gave me purpose. It it gave me a reason to to focus on getting better. Good. And and by focusing on other people it took the focus off of myself. You know, That's it was, actually it was very, important. It was very motivating. So thank you very much for that. You were very instrumental in that. Oh, wow. You don't know that, but you were. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Well, just a little bit about Kathy. She has over 35 years of entertainment industry experience. But I'm only 25. Yeah. Anyway, go on. <laughs> oh, yeah. She started before birth. Ex- actually in the womb, yes. 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 Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> both on stage and behind the scenes. I actually actually got the opportunity to um, escape responsibilities for a little while. And, mm-hmm. and I went to um, hear you perform at our, our dear friend's wine bar in downtown Clearwater. It, your voice was fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being there. It meant a lot. Oh, it meant well. a lot to see your smiling face there. Thank you. Now, during the day... You might find her vocal coaching, uh, both professionally, or professional and aspiring singers. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's awesome. Or delivering a singing telegram for you. One of my very favorite things to do. That it's it's a very like bold. It's a very bold, different thing to do. That to walk like into fun. an office of people. My favorite. Singing. My favorite one was, I created a custom te- singing telegram for these office managers right? and there were four of them and I picked the songs and kind of rewrote the lyrics and I went in and I didn't expect there to be like 150 people in the room. Oh, wow! it was crazy. It was, it was amazing. It was one of my favorite ones. I've done some really interesting ones. So I've even put tattoos on my. Yeah. Temporary tattoos. Yes. On my cleavage area. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. For somebody who so wants. you go all out. I will go all out. Absolutely. Yeah. I even She's wore a blonde wig. A I, even, I wore a blonde wig once even. Yeah. You, you're definitely a performer. That was fun. Yes. So um, when she performs, she's Kathy Sings for You. Yes. 
Yes, I am. Okay. And um, you've got a solo show called The Diva Sings. Yes, I do. I do. That's my where's, favorite. Where's that being um, played? I kind of play at different places. Um, okay. Oh, kids, so can we have that on Friday, The Diva Sings? That, that's basically what I'll be doing is The Diva Sings. Yes. Sweet. Yes. You guys and are going to have to wait. Find wait, out where wait, and what when. Friday yeah, is what Friday. Be. Yeah, exactly. Stay so, tuned because we're definitely going to tell you this hour. Um, and then uh, you've also got a band called First Crush Band. Yes, and I hear that we're performing someplace that we're going to talk about later, too. Yeah, a couple places. Well, the same place, two events. Yeah, absolutely, yes. I'm very excited. <laughs> my, I don't, my band doesn't even know yet. I just booked them, and they don't even know yet. So oh, they're they're going to be so excited. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what I do for the first, you know, few minutes is that I'm, I'm really passionate about the Benevolution Foundation. That's actually the nonprofit incubator that mm -hmm. I launched last year. And so basically we work with all volunteer managed, um, locally focused nonprofit missions, the ones that I've vetted pretty well. Because what I've found with them is um, they don't ever get rated you know, the charity rating by the big guys oh. because the big rating services, um, people don't understand that in order to just get your foot in the door to be rated, you have to raise $1 million for five years straight. Oh my gosh. I had no so clue. So that, cut, that cuts all the volun the local local charities out and, and the mindset of the community is that, oh, you don't have that rating. You must not be worthy. You get me? So I I'm, no I'm kind of like my own little rating service, too. I'm like, okay, I'm uh, the Benevolution Foundation is offering all of the um, respectability that I work really hard in the community to build up. Um, we offer our voice for them. Say, hey, these guys, we're working with them. What we help them with is um, identifying effective board manager or, you know, board of directors. Um, teaching their board of directors what what their responsibilities are actually because the board of director one of your board of directors it, it's not just a title it shouldn't be it should not just be a title you need to be the cheerleader the fundraiser of your nonprofit I've actually worked with nonprofits where the board of directors each member, whatever the total goal was for the year, they had a responsibility to either raise that money or, or write a check. Or oh, gotcha. So that's how crucial it was. So, so a lot of times they would choose people to be on the board because of their fundraising capability. Gotcha. Or because they could just write a check or do in-kind donations. So right. that's really important. Or when you volunteer take, time. Or vo too. volunteer time also. Yeah. You know, there's also the volunteer capacity as well. Right. But that's that's really important to understand. It's not just to put on your resume, right. you know, oh, I'm a board member of such and such. It's a responsibility. It's, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. Big responsibility. So the two that we have um, approved for this year, one of them is Bailey's Way Rescue. I love their team. They came in um, sort of at the last minute of Massachusetts. It's a woof, 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 woof one, right? Yes. Woof, it woof. Is. It's a puppy dog rescue. Oh, yes. And um, they came in kind of at the last minute of, of the annual macaroni and cheese fall festival last year because we raised money for eight nonprofits at last year's festival. And uh, one of our, well, our pet rescue dropped out at the end. <laughs> The one that I was promoting all year, but we won't talk about no, that. That's okay. That's okay. It's all good because then I met the Bailey was away. And team, that was meant to be. And they are phenomenal. Um, I you know, I I reached out into to the people that I know work with the rescues all the time. And I'm like, give me a reliable one. You know, that's another way to find a, a worthy nonprofit in your area. If you know of a friend or if you're on Facebook and you're watching acquaintances that are really into like pet rescues or whatever, and you're looking for a worthy one and you're like, I don't have time to research on the internet. Ask your friends. Do you have any experience with this one? What was your experience? Mainly, do they appreciate volunteers? Mm -hmm. That's a big one for me. That's huge. That's huge. They're the core of any organization. Yeah. yeah. And so, and Bailey's Way Rescue, their team was just through the roof 
appreciative too. I can't wait to meet them. Oh, they're awesome. Shout out to Ann and Dawn. And then our second one, <coughs> excuse me, is Kids Campaign. Hmm. And I love Kids Campaign because they have a dual mission. Um, they're, the first part of their mission is volunteerism. So they encourage uh, their supporters to volunteer, not necessarily for their projects, but if you have a passion for another volunteer organization and you've got an idea for a project that will help them, um, you can also raise funds for a kids campaign while you do it. And this Ooh. is how it works. It's called a serving campaign. So first of all, you want to touch base with the, the volunteer organization or even a neighborhood project that you're doing. And you want to say, okay, I want to volunteer my time. I've got some friends that are willing to sponsor me for say 10 bucks an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. my, this project, I'm willing to put $5 or five hours into this project. So I'm going to reach out to my friends and say, how many hours are you willing to sponsor for me? Okay. And then that, whatever hours, let's say they sponsor you for two, two hours, they write a check to kids campaign for 20 bucks. So they're sponsoring your volunteer time by donating to kids campaign. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. And, and it sounds confusing. The other one I like is the, the corporate, everybody wants to wear jeans in the office. So they go to their boss and they're like, we all want to wear jeans on Friday. We're, we're willing to donate $10 each to kids campaign. If you let us wear jeans on Friday and boss man is cool. And he says, okay, you guys can wear jeans on Friday and 10 of them, Raise a hundred bucks for kids campaign. Okay, so how much would it be if they wanted to wear shorts and flip flops? That's what I want. I don't know. Ooh. They could. They could. Yeah, that's a Even great in idea. Summer, you know. And so the second part of their mission is to support uh, families that are living with um, pediatric cancer. Oh, wow. So there is there is support out there, but often sometimes the kids relapse, and then there's travel expenses mm -hmm. when they. When there isn't therapy in town that they have to, or, you know, they're spending money on so much prescriptions and the power bill is a little extra that month. So, so it's, they're very it's, flexible. It's the costs that aren't necessarily covered by insurance, but the extenuating yeah. cost of maybe, you know, or the mom, mom has to, you know, mom can't work right now because she has to take Johnny to the doctor three times a week right, or right. whatever. And, you know, those, so those they try great. to help out. With That's those. great. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. My bracelet just hit the table. That oh. I didn't. Sorry about that. Oops. Uh, so that's that's the dual mission of Kids Campaign. Now, you can find both of them on Facebook. That's Bailey's Way Rescue. That's the um, puppy dog rescue. And, oh, what they do with their funds are um, they're a foster program. So they go out and, and rescue the, the, the dogs that – uh, maybe scheduled for a demise. I don't like saying the other thing. And then um, they help support the foster families that take the puppy dogs in. Or, or if there's a dog that needs some health care, um, they try to work with um, kind-hearted veterinarians, and then they raise funds to help the um, puppy dog recover. Wow. So two amazing nonprofits that the Benevolution Foundation supports. We we try to raise grant funding for them. Or we teach, we do a lot of education. We give them social media tips. Um, we, we talk about them on the radio. <laughs> can, you, can you put their websites in the What I'll do on, um, on the Shop Local for Good Facebook Live, what okay. I do is I comment. So... If you're driving down the street, please do not try to take notes. No, that's a little absolutely. That's kind of scary because I might be in front of you. But I'm uh, not right now, but right. know, at another time. Yeah. Exactly. So let's let's get started on some uh, on these collaborations. All righty then. Here we so go. So what I want to do is first throw the definition of collaborate out there because I, oh, okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think there's a lot of people that understand the exact definition. Really? I want to be a geek. <laughs> So the word collaborate, or they understand that they're just not cooperating. There's another good word. Okay, so collaborate. Work jointly on an activity, especially to produce or create something. Ooh, I love that. Yes. Okay, so 
Kathy is a creator. Mm-hmm. She's a very artistic creator. I am a create. What I like to do is I like to create connections. I like to connect people. And I'm very, very passionate about growing stronger communities from the grassroots up. Mm -hmm. So by collaborating with people that have a similar passion or are leaning to with a passion and figuring out ways that people can work together, like we met with Morgan Isaac, and he's going to be collaborating with us. Mm -hmm. So I've got to announce it. On um, It's a fundraiser for the Benevolution Foundation. That's why I explained to you guys what we do. And it's going to be on March 15th. Uh, for oh, six, my gosh. That's like Friday. Friday, <laughs> Friday March 15th. Um, from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. And we're hosting it at the Market Space for Good, which is 628 Cleveland Street, on the gorgeous outdoor patio of the Station Square Creative Suites. By the way, if you want to be our neighbor, there's some offices open there. Mm. Yeah, they they need to um, touch base with our friend Ray Cassano of Station Square Realty. Um, he's a great he's a great guy. Let him know where you heard about it. Though. Yeah, tell him Absolutely. Karina and Shop Local for Good sent you his way, so he knows that I'm shouting out some love. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it's a great creative space. Um, that's where the market space for good is there. And um, that's our entrepreneur incubator, where we have over a dozen of our um, local entrepreneurs that we're trying to grow in the community, well over a dozen. So Friday, getting back to Friday, March 15th, 6.30 to 9.30, is our hashtag Artist for Good Showcase. It's also known as 600 Block Rocks Works and Words of Art for Good. I'm going to have to pair that title back. So big, say that again. 600 Block Rocks, Works and Words of Art for Good. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's hashtag rocking 600 block in downtown Clearwater. And um, Kathy is going to be singing. Yes, I am. The She's will going be there. to be singing out into the, the universe. The stratosphere. So if you're driving down Cleveland Street, you'll be able to hear you. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful weather. Right. It is going it's going to be, to be beautiful. You're manifesting the beautiful I am manifesting weather. beautiful weather with a breeze yeah. because I like breezes because women in menopause like breezes. Oh, did I give away my age? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're doing, um, we want to give a shout out to the Downtown Clearwater Merchants Association because they are re- relaunching this kind of in a fun way. And um, there, it's a third Friday art walk. And they've got this cool passport that what you do is you pick up the passport. Uh oh, yeah. I'm gonna look up where you pick up the passport, and I'll comment on the shop okay. local oh, for yeah. good. So check live. back later. Yes. Yeah. Not while you're driving. Yeah, because you you want to pick up the passport because then what you're going to do is check in to each of the members, and it looks like each of their their merchant members are going. They're reaching out into the art community, and they're going to have an artist in front of their shop or restaurant creating i love that isn't I that cool? love it i love it I so love we're going to be having a a beautiful singer and it just gets better it gets much better it gets three times better yes because we're going to have um karen strum's going to be there she has her art showcased at the market space and um what when you add a piece of these this artwork to your family's cl- collection, um, she actually donates to the Benevolution Foundation. Absolutely, yeah. And then um, we're gonna have uh, Martins gonna be there with some of his artwork, and he also has beautiful work at the Market Space for Good. And then we are going to have our dear friend Morgan Isaac. He mm-hmm. is going to be there, and um, he's gonna be showcasing his work on the patio. And then um, we're going to. I'm hoping he's going to be like one of my new best friends. He's pretty awesome. I like him a lot. He's also a fashion designer. Yes, he is. That's next month. Yes. Oopsie, gave Oopsie, that away. Gave that away too. Okay, so um, definitely want to give a shout out to the Downtown Clearwater Merchants Association. Absolutely. That's, for bringing some fun into Downtown that's, Clearwater. That's really, you know, making it a destination, making it a place to go where you can also spend money in the local shops. 
as well as have fun. So. Right. Well, and it's it's a fundraiser for the Benevolution Foundation. That yours is absolutely, yes. Yep. And it's supporting local art. Yeah. Works and words and music. Yes. And music, too. You got words in there. Yeah, I got words Musical in there. words. Musical words. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're also going to have a couple of vendors out there. Gabby with It Works is going to be there. She's going to have her keto coffee bar rocking. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you want a mocha coffee, you put some chocolate greens in there. It's pretty good. And then um, this past Saturday at the community market, uh, the farmers market and community showcase, we I actually got to meet in person. This weekend was fabulous, by the way. I got to meet Ricky Healing by Jen. So her name is Jennifer, and um, she makes this gorgeous handcrafted jewelry, and she also has um, kratom drinks. So she's going to be there Friday with her kratom drinks. So you can have keto coffee or you can have some kratom drinks. And she's doing, she's launching this and, and she's got a lot. What I loved about her being there is that her friends came out to support her. And um, it was pretty cool. And she was doing samples. I got some with grape in it. It was good. Mm. Have you ever tried kratom? Yes, I have. It's like the kava ancient, in mine. I like ancient kava Chinese in mine. herb. I had mine. I had kava in mine. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, because this is just kratom. Kratom's, yep. good, Kratom's yep. good, though. Yeah. And then I believe we're going to have, if you're, if you're looking at us on the, the Facebook Live or YouTube, um, this other vendor was out there, and they handcraft. Now, I'm a sucker for this. I know. You're uh, such a geek. You're a game geek. A geek. Are you a game um, geek? I'm a geek. I'm a geek for handcrafted puzzles. Okay. Especially wood ones because I come, my father's side of the family are all carpenters. Oh, that's why. That's oh, why. I'm like, my that. people. Yeah. And uh, Creative Craft House was out there this past Saturday. And they had some really cool um, wooden toys, wooden puzzles. This one right here is called Shut the Box. We used to play, play it at the bar all the time. If you couldn't do it, then I I called you a cab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then on the other side, there's a really cool um, tic tac toe game that I bought. But okay, I can play tic tac toe, but I have no idea what the other game is. Oh, you so. can play that easy. Okay. If you can do simple math, you can do addition and subtraction. Can I use my calculator? <laughs> oh, I suppose so. <laughs> But um, I, but believe, I can see I believe, why you would have people you call a cab though, because if they couldn't do simple math, yeah, yeah, ah, now I got it, okay. dude. Give me the keys. Yeah, exactly. you're, you're out. <laughs> not only are you cut off, you're not driving yeah. anywhere anyway. <laughs> exactly. So um, yeah, that that was fun, and I believe they're going to be out there Friday too. So Good. it's going to be a a neat mixture, and then of course the market space for goods going to be open, and um, so we have. Aramel Apothecary, she has some amazing handcrafted soaps and lotions and gift sets. Oh, so, oh I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. I forgot to numb my alarm. <laughs> You're supposed to be awake now. I am awake now, but that's my normal alarm. Okay. <laughs> See, I, got, I even got her up early. Yeah, it's because I normally stay up to like two and three, though. Do what? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I'm awake now. <laughs> We're having fun. Okay. So I do want to announce that we have a March. The Shop Local for Good has a March Madness special um, for the vendors for the Saturday community markets. Okay. Um, that's every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I went crazy. And um, for $99, you could be at three Saturday markets. Wow. But there's only three more Saturdays left in March. Yes, there are. And there's a few spaces left, so you're going to have to hop on that. So go to shoplocalforgood.com and contact me through the Contact Us form. That's what, are you, what are you looking for? Like, what kind of stuff do you want there? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. I, I'm just curious. Yes. Well, what can um, you, And what can you already find there? You can find some EJ's Urban Farmstead <gasps> produce. Oh, yummy. Yes, Clearwater Organic Farm. Oh, wow. Yeah, they... They okay. they harvest it the night before. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't if, aware of that. If you're a friend of See, mine. I on know Facebook, her and I wasn't aware of that. That's it. really bad. Facebook fail. I no, I just wasn't aware that it was a clear water organic farm. It's a clear water urban farmstead. Wow. And um Justin and his family are really cool. And so what they do is 
and he has a full time job too. So he farmers are hardworking mm-hmm. people, y'all. Mm-hmm. And oh man, his carrots right out of the ground with the dirt still on them. Organic dirt. That's that's good though. Yeah, because you know it's fresh. Yeah. And then I wasn't complaining about the dirt. No, you can bring a little organic dirt home. No, start absolutely. your own carrots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's not a lot of dirt, I swear. Okay. Um, and then they have uh, collard greens. Now I'm a southern girl. I, I love me some collard greens. I still can't make them. Oh, well, I'll have to teach you. Nah, That's to be our collaboration. I love them, but I just can't yeah. make them. Yeah. Oh, no. They're good. Okay. And then um, it cracked me up. Here I was Friday night, 10 30 at night, picking up the produce. That's how fresh it is, y'all, because the market is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 628 Cleveland Street. Hashtag rocking 600 block. <laughs> so that's EJ's for Urban Farmstead. They're a hardworking family. Um, he works really hard during the week. Um, uh, he does property management. You know how hard that work is. And then comes home and takes care of his farm. He has chickens. If we're really lucky, we get eggs. Now it's it's a variety each week because it's it's a farm, so like we didn't have tomatoes last week, but we had um, celery, like real celery, not the white stuff you get in the mm-hmm. grocery store. Don't don't shop at those places. <laughs> anyway, and then um, what did we have? We had mustard greens, and oh, the kale is really good too. Oh, I love kale. Oh man, it's Fantastic. I love kale. I'm going to have you stop by my okay. house on your way home because I have a couple bundles extra. Oh. Oh. I'll, pay, I'll pay you for being on the show in kale. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> kale chips, here we come. There you go. <laughs> no, Kathy's volunteering today. Yes. Yay. Hey, what do you guys think but about having... you can still having, pay me in kale. There we go. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think about having Kathy as a regular guest host? She just wants me to get up really early on, on, on Monday, Monday mornings. mornings. Yeah, yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna be massively productive today, because we're gonna meet up at Angie's Grill at seventeen thirty two Drew Street for a, a production meeting. Yes, I sir. mean, for the uh, rest of the events that we're gonna talk about. So Friday evening, you want to come out to hear her sing, and you want to um, meet our artists in person. It's the third Friday art walk in downtown Clearwater. We're going to be at 628 Cleveland Street. And I'm thinking something special. I'm not sure what. So I'll think about it and we'll post it later in the comments. Something, some kind of fundraiser thing. Maybe like a singing telegram if they book one through me that day. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll donate $25 to the Bit Evolution Foundation. Oh, that's thank so you. So for any singing telegram you book that Friday. Can be for any time, any time throughout the year, you know, subject to availability when I'm here. But I also do virtual ones. So if you want to send it to somebody far away, I do a video one that you can send. Oh, so, very cool. So just to just to let you know that. So awesome. So and then then upcoming in April, I just want to do a slight tease because Morgan, I'm mm-hmm. I'm so excited about him. He's so fabulous, isn't he fabulous? I know. So um, Morgan had an idea. Um, once again, this falls into the collaboration for um, April's third Friday. It's going to be um, art and fashion. So we're going to have a fashion show. And, and he's, he's a fashion designer. And isn't he fabulous? He's amazingly wonderful. So he showed up for a meeting I yesterday. He's one of my new best friends. He doesn't know that yet, though, but I hope he is. Yeah, he's a good guy. He showed up yesterday for a meeting, and I was in the other room, and I, I, I all I ever heard Kathy was, "I love your shoes," because <laughs> he always dresses to the absolutely, tea. He's yeah, fantastic. He so we appreciate Morgan; he's a good guy, um, and a very talented artist and fashion designer. So, mm-hmm. so that's Morgan Isaac International. Uh, we'll be doing a promo in the event, so you want to look up. Uh, the event. If you want to look up the event, just go to Shop Local for Good. But he's also on Instagram. Yeah. Morgan, Morgan Isaac International on Instagram. Yeah. He has a okay. lot of followers on Instagram. So if you're an Instagram user, you can follow him there too. And he'll be talking about that. Too. Yay. And comment on one of his posts. Say, hey, I heard you on Shop Local Absolutely. for Good News. 
That's fine. Or what is the hashtag? Six hundred block. Hashtag rocking six hundred block. Rocking six hundred block. I got to memorize that. Yeah, you'll be able to find them there because I'm going to tag it with that. Okay. I love those hashtags. I do too. Just I'm just going to give a little bit of a social media lesson, real quick, so that people know how to find us fast. If you in Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, their search bar. If you put in hashtag rocking 600 block, it, it shows all the posts that that hashtag is in. That's what hashtags are for, in case you're wondering. Yes. So, or, yeah, or if you're on our post and you click on the hashtag, because it highlights it, um, it'll pull up your search engine. So you don't even have to type it. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, more appreciation, more collaboration. We want to give a shout out to our... Uh, we're 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 like the three musketeers. You guys have no idea what we're gonna do this summer and this fall, because the three of us together is just gonna be epic. I want to give a shout out to Tammy Perez with the Plaza at the Palms of Largo. I just have to say this is another full circle moment. Yeah, because Korean and I coming back together after many years, yeah. knowing each other but working on something new. And when she told me the plaza at the Palms of Largo was involved, I'm like, oh, my gosh, in 2014, I used to do consulting for them and perform there. And I love Tammy. Tammy's, she's the I, bomb. I just, she is just little. Her whole team she's is She's like the the, one of the only people I know is actually shorter than me, yeah. which is true. Yeah. She's like a, just about half an inch shorter than I am, which, but, you know, man, she can she's move. a little pint-sized dynamite powerhouse of energy and love and and good she's, at what she does. She's good, yeah. So incredibly good at what she does. She's such a great motivator and team leader. So yeah. when I need, I was like, I'm on board. <laughs> I should just say, Karina would say, that's where we're at. I'm on board. I'm on board. So Okay, so we need to know. We we, we need to let everybody know why we're talking about the plaza at the exactly. Palms of Largo. First of all, it is a gorgeous facility mm -hmm. for any events. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Weddings. Oh my gosh, their patio is just beautiful. And and the inside the rotunda, the round room yeah. is just beautiful. I, I've performed there several times, yeah. both inside and outside, and it's gorgeous. Yes. Yep. The outside gazebo is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys have heard um you might have heard of Summer Fest for Good. That's our summer festival. And um we had it there last year and, and it, it was it was really hot. So we're pivoting. Because that's what entrepreneurs do. And we're going to have an evening event. So it's going to be from 4 to 9. Um, Summerfest for Good Returns, if you want to look us up. And that is going to be on June 22nd at the Plaza at the Palms of Largo facility. And we are going to have Kathy, a first crush band. Yes, the band. Hey, guys, guess what? <laughs> you got a job. <laughs> You're not work. You, you're working on June twenty second. Yeah, I know they're not booked. I know their calendars, so I just awesome. book them. You know they don't care. They're like, yay. <clears throat> okay, so that's what happened. Um, so, so we're gonna set up a whole food court, f food trucks, food vendors, and um, each truck is gonna have their regular menu. And I'm challenging them to do a summer themed dish. So you'll get to come mm. out for a special dish they're gonna make for you. That'd be good. So, and then um, lots of fun ac activities. We're going to have the um, Pinellas County's, you know, I'm bragging about this. And I, I, I researched it last year, and I'm pretty sure we're still going to be the biggest. Pinellas County's biggest beach ball pit. So what we do is we set up event fencing and we fill it with beach balls and the kids get to run through it's it. It's going to be bigger this year. It's going to be bigger. bigger we're going to have more balls. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we had 250 last year. I think we're going to triple it at least. Oh, that's ambitious. I'd like to. You should have seen us trying to deflate all those balls. At the we'll make sure we get the kind that are easier to deflate. Yeah. Perhaps. Hey, Tammy, that we need to Unless people that. just take them home. Oh, we can do that too. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we'll yeah, do that. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. And then the water slide's coming back. Mm. And then we're going to So have if you get really hot, you can get on the water slide. The vendors were taking the water oh, yeah. slide last yeah. year. But four to nine is going to be a beautiful weather. Yeah. I just got to make sure, like, if I get on the water slide, I don't go on the stage and touch the microphone, right? Yeah, well, I'm we wet. don't need that kind that of drama be, in our lives. That could be, like, an unnecessarily electrifying moment. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. 
And then um, I'm expanding the local shopping. So um, my goal is 40 vendors. So wow. It's going to be better than the mall. Wow. Who wants to fight the mall anyway? It's local vendors. Yeah. You're supporting local. your neighbor. Yep. Fantastic vendors. Keeping I've the money some, local, too. I met some amazing people. In fact, I think Creative Craft House is going to be there. Or mac and cheese. <gasps> or mac and cheese. So, I want to. I've got. What's that. mac and cheese now? I can't talk about mac and cheese. See, I talk about mac and cheese. See, that's one of my I don't favorite think there's foods. Been, okay. I don't think there's been one show. Arena might be. Has there been one show that I have not said the word mac and cheese? Oh, at least one mm. show. Well, you know. I'm from Texas, and I've been to a lot of church socials, yeah. and mac and cheese is always Everybody a staple. Loves mac and cheese. So I'm an expert on mac and cheese, and I actually, my grandma made the most amazing mac and cheese, and whenever I got sick as a little girl, she'd make homemade fruit salad from a garden uh -huh. and mac and cheese. There so I'm an, I'm an expert on mac and cheese, so I'm going to be, a, you know, I'm going to be judging harshly at this event. Well, we're going to do it a little different. This How are we doing this? This will be a third year for me. Okay. Awesome. Um, it, I, I took it over from a couple people that okay. ran it a couple years before. We were having it up in Palm Harbor, but the, <laughs> the parking issues. I, I outgrew the venue you, last I, year. I think you need a much bigger space, which is why yes. Plaza is awesome. Oh my gosh! So awesome. Tammy was like, "We are in." Uh, I just wait, sent her wait. an email, and she's like, "I mean, thirty second turnaround." She's like, "Yes, yes, that's Tammy." We want mac and cheese. Absolutely. No, yeah. I'm sure she asked. I know. But she likes um, mac and cheese too. Though. Yes. Yeah. So not only Who are we going to have Summer Fest for Good at the Plaza at the Palms of Largo, the annual Macaroni and Cheese Fall Festival will be on October 19th at the Plaza at the Palms of Largo. And we are going to just explode it. That's six days after my birthday. So awesome. So I'm, we'll just have you a little yeah, birthday cake. cake yeah. Mac and okay. cheesecake. Yep. I want a mac and cheesecake. So we're also going to return it back because the trucks are going to be competing for Tampa Bay's best mac and cheese. Wow. And there's going to be another competition, Tampa Bay's Sweetest Treat. <gasps> so two, two, comp two competitions going on. Oh, my gosh. And it's people's choice again this oh, year. Oh, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. yeah. And um, we're re revamping a little bit, uh, some lessons that we learned last year. And we'll talk about that, like, on another show, yeah, right? Yeah, Just a little bit at a time. We don't want to give them too much at once. Okay. Just a, just a little bit at a time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them I'm intri really intriguing excited. them. I yeah, know. tune in next week because yeah. I got some more to tell Absolutely. you about mac and cheese. But it is free admission and free parking. Yeah. We do need to be in yeah, it's that. free admission, free parking. But if they want to do activities, they do what? They divide. They're just going to just be bands. like a it's, little bit of arm bands, like nothing. a couple bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. it's a fundraiser for yes. the Benevolution Fund. Absolutely, yes. Not, not the, uh, yeah, not like last year. And then, um, then we're going to have tasting certificates. That's how they're going to vote. Oh, I see. Because last right. year people were asking, you know, what do I get for the armbands and that kind of thing. So I, I always learn from my attendees. I want to give you guys a shout out. Yeah, because, feedback is important. Yeah, even even challenges. Um, you know, we got we had some challenges because a, a few trucks broke down. <gasps> Yo, that's not happening. We're having um, more trucks this year. No, we need to have like. Tow We're gonna have more trucks. To tow the trucks. <laughs> I don't know. Tow trucks. <laughs> anyway, we're definitely gonna have. Well, we got more room for yeah. the trucks, yeah. and then more vendors too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get forty for that too. She's so ambitious, isn't she? I set but, the you bar know, high. But, you know, but the cool thing is, like, well, we had somebody come in yesterday, and she signed up for both festivals. Yep. So that's the thing is. Well, she's if, been with me. This will be her third but year. But see, that's she the thing is if you're, if you're a vendor or yeah. you're a food truck, just sign up for both at the same time. Get it done. Get it on your calendar because we know how busy it gets when the snowbird season starts over again in the fall. Yeah. So we want you to get on the calendar not only for Summerfest for Good, but for the Mac and Cheese Festival in October, we want you on there now because you don't want to wait till like July or August and you're, you know, right. and you're like, I really want to do it, but I already am at such and such, such and such because you don't want to miss the Mac and Cheese Festival because no, no, it's no. going to be. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Summer Fest for Good is going to be epic. They're both going to be epic. They're both going to be epic. We're setting the bar pretty high. Yeah, I'm afraid we are. It's okay. It's a, I, I'm, I'm on it. I know you are. This collaboration is going to be huge. Yeah, it's it's. You put three women like us together. Look out, Pinellas. Look out, Tampa okay, Bay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I do need to rewind a little bit because okay. Blast Friday is coming up. Oh, 
Last Friday is the Ruth Eckerd Hall Experience Concert Series mm -hmm. that they do on the last Friday of every month. Excuse me, on in downtown Clearwater. And they have a big stage for a big band, which is the Rippingtons, right? The Rippingtons is in March. Um, and Gloria West is on... Nope, it's on your block. She's on. She's on the hashtag Rocking Six Hundred block. And well, I, I'm a. You just got a scoop. By yes, because I, I haven't announced that yet. Well, I'm a big fan of Gloria West because we actually have played at another place on Cleveland, which I don't know if I'm allowed to mention. Am I allowed to mention? Sure, sure. Okay. Sure. Um, we both played at Dolce Speakeasy and Supper Club, and sometimes, you know, I would be in there on a night when she was supposed to be at go in and fill in or something. It was um, where's Gloria West and. Oh, I'm like, yeah. So finally I went in and watched her and I, you know, I was like, wow, she's like very jazzy. She's total jazz. She's like the yeah, jazz the queen. Are a jazz she band. is the jazz queen in nice. Tampa Bay. In my opinion, you know, she is the jazz queen. She has her own style. She's an amazing keyboardist and band. I mean, they're they're going to be playing inside Station Square City Park. Oh, Hmm, that's a great idea, isn't yes, it? Yes, isn't it that is. a wonderful idea? That's a and great we, idea. We will be rocking the six hundred block. <clears throat> um, uh, Shop local for good has partnered with Ruth Eckerd Hall on staging the six hundred block vendors. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of confusing because there's another vendor company that does four and five hundred block. The difference of working with Shop Local for Good is I set up a Facebook album. And um, because part of what we do is marketing. Yes. And I love exposure. to brag about she hardworking does. people. She does. So I go on your Facebook page or you send me some pictures and then I design a promotion. And each month is a, a Facebook album of who's going to be on 600 block. And I don't delete them. They and, stay up. And what's exciting is it's not even just it's also the vendors who come in that have their own business you know with a food truck or space yeah, or everybody tent. but is, it's also yeah. some of the vendors on the street that actually set up outside like uh um, a vector vector, vector, vector bar, bar and grill yeah they're they're actually on the 600 block all the time yeah and so, so they they actually put they set some of their promotion. vending machines outside and yeah. they had great response so it's a it's a great way for the merchants on the block to reach out to the community by putting something outside as well as the vendors Yes. Come in. yes. So it's 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 so kind of cool. So you get to know your local right. business Right. I didn't owners. even know they were there. And yeah. then I, I was like, wow, this is really cool. Not that I play video games, but I know people who do. So I can refer there them there. There you go. Because I'm just not that kind of a person. Whatever. So oh, whatever I am. I love it. Gosh, I'm they have Galaga. I don't even know what that is. Uh, uh, I just, I have no I'm eye hand have coordination. I have no eye hand coordination. They have craft no. beers. They have fine wines from France. Lauren, okay. Lauren is really specific about her wines. It's pretty oh, cool. Well, I'll drink a glass of wine while you play the game. Oh, no, you're going to have to play Galaga. Oh, gosh. You may have to, I may have to have a glass of wine in order to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, good. yeah, shout out to Vector Bar and Grill. And then we've got the downtown Vaporium. They set up outside, yeah. too. And then... Uh, Hello, you got the Tampa Bay escape room. Yeah. So like I if I didn't have a problem with enclosed spaces, I would go do that. But it's fun. Maybe I should drink the Is wine that? and then go next door and do the Tampa Bay escape room. Just I don't know. <laughs> it's not really a closed space, it's a room. I know, it's it's, like it's I puzzles. Know. Oh no. No. Yes. 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 We want to yeah. talk nice about our, our business. Uh, it sounds like fun, but you know, I, I I could do that with a group of friends. Oh, absolutely. like I've done laser no. tag with a group you, of friends, and you, I was actually really, really good at it. Surprisingly, honey, it doesn't work unless you're with a group. Oh, of friends. Oh, I thought you had to go by yourself. No, 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 no. Oh. You're competing against people. You don't go by yourself. No, no, no. It's like a group thing. Okay, then I, I would do that. It was that. a team building exercise. I went uh, with with another company oh. I work for, and. Our team, of course, kicked butt. Of course you did. Yeah. Shout out See, to we, my I, I did laser AFP tag team. years ago with the cast from Les Mis when my daughter toured. Um, there's nothing like a bunch of actors who are pretending like they're Star Wars. Oh, cool. It was Star very Wars. it was very cool, just to say. Yeah, it was cool. All right. Okay, anyway, so that, I'm sorry I interrupted. Okay. That is March 29th. We still have room. Um we still have room for a couple more food trucks, just two. At one sweet and one savory, and then um, plenty of room for handcrafters. Um, specifically looking for handcrafters like specialty foods and that kind of thing. Um, I Thai Sushi is going to be out there now. They're mm -hmm. a restaurant up the street. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Peter's phenomenal. 
Uh, he was there last last month. We personally love his food, don't we, Lorena? His sushi is amazing. I'm a sushi fan. Oh, now, now you're oh talking. My gosh. Now you're yeah. talking my game, sushi. And, I, I and sushi. he's going to be there um, on March 29th. And so we're going to have sushi. We're gonna, also going to have oh my euros. They're coming back. Mm. The, oh, he piles on the euro meat. Uh, you're walking down the street. It's they're two handers. Well, when I was there, their truck was like there was a line like yeah. all night long yeah. in front of their truck. Oh, it's food is yeah. Lorena had the euro. She's shaking her head. She's like, Gyro, Mom. Euro, Euro. I know it's a Euro. I like to call it. Her, yeah. yeah, I know it's a Euro. So, all my Euros is going to be back. Oh my They're God. coming like back. And then um, then we have uh, Pet Once. Pet Once is going to be there. Mario and his family. I love that family. They share everything. They're another big, huge collaborator. So Pet Wants Palm Harbor. They, so you have they, all these. Wait, you have all these really cool vending opportunities. So like, someone could really come and do if they had the right product, they could do the, the Saturday market. The Saturday market. They could do last Friday. last Friday, and the art walk, and the art walk, and the mac and cheese festival, and, and summer some fest. kind of, That's five about, opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. To work with our enthusiastic team. Absolutely. So. And it's all about collaboration. When you're when you're a vendor with the Shop Local for Good family, because we are a family, um, what I need you to understand is I've been a vendor before. Not only am I a small business owner, I recognize the challenges and the investment that you're making in my company to maximize your success. So I understand how hard it is to earn a dollar on your own. So if you're a vendor and you you sign up with me for any of my events or events that I'm collaborating on, you you really need to know that I'm going to go 120% to make sure that not only not only do you get the exposure of the event, the people walking by you, I go a step further. I want you to also, I want Shop Local for Good to be the voice of the small business owner. And so that's why I set up Facebook albums. That's why I share things on other platforms, on our website, shoplocalforgood.com, just to connect our neighbors with the hardworking small business owners, especially the ones that support local nonprofits. And I also think it's interesting that part of that collaboration is, is sometimes teaching. Some small business owners don't understand how to use Facebook events properly. Right, right. And so you actually give them instructions yeah, on yeah. how to – you know, add the event to their page and how to share it properly. And a lot of a lot of other places that you become that people sign up to do events for do not understand how to do that. And they're not shown. Right. And that's part of that power, that free advertising yeah. marketing yeah. you can get on Facebook without buying an ad. If we all collaborate, yes. going back to collaboration, right. you know, and and understand and understand that together. So I think that's really important. That's something you get with Karina and Shop Local for Good that you do not get with other events. You get education. Absolutely. Teaching. Uh, and it's not a boring classroom. No, it's not. It's fun. It's all, it's got pictures. I made pictures. <laughs> I even have a it's how a to a directly invite your friends. Pictorial instructions. Yes. But, you know. Yes. Because I'm an educator. Do we have somebody? Good morning, Andrea. She's with Mothers and Minors. Ooh. Yeah, they were one of our nonprofits last year. So we are actually, wow, we got a lot of information. Hey, hi, in. Stewie Webster. <laughs> I know you. Stewie's on. Yeah. Okay, we didn't miss anything, did we? We've got the Blast Friday that we're booking for. And then we have the March Madness special. There's only three Saturdays left, you guys, and only a handful of spots for our Saturday markets. And it's only $99 to wow. be out there. I'm thinking of a couple of people I'm going to reach out to for you. Cool. I am. Cool. I got I got to. In fact, seeing Stewie Webster's, her mom yeah. um, is responsible for, otherwise I'd be in yoga pants and t-shirts all the time. She's the one who puts together all my costume, including what I have on right now. And... um. 
And so she actually makes these amazing purses. So I'm going to oh, talk to her. They're yeah. handcrafted and they're like upcycled. Nice. Upcycled. She goes and finds, she's a thrift store shopper. She goes and buys. Anyway, I'll shut up because I know we're near the end. But we'll talk about her another time. <laughs> okay. Our producer's going, hello. Hello. We're running out of hello. minutes. Okay. Um, so we, we want you to go to shoplocalforgood.com. I do have Shop Local for Good news, but I'm behind on it. That's okay. That. That's okay. Yeah. I just confessed on the radio. No, that's okay. That's what it's for. Monday Shop morning confession. Yeah. Shoplocalforgood.com. Now, look, I need to also give a shout out to Kathy because not only does is she phenomenally talented and creative, she also does web design. And I know for a fact that she is going to offer you top quality service for a little price. And I teach you. It's about teaching, See, too. Teaching she's is like encouraged. me, too. And people teach too. people yeah. are like, will you build my website? I'm like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up on a platform that you can update, that yourself. You can update yeah. yourself. So yeah. we're empowering small business, Absolutely. one small business at Absolutely. a time. Absolutely. Yeah. So no, when you invest in her, it's not a it's not a necessarily a recurring investment unless now you do a fantastic job with their social media too. Yeah, I can help. I can teach you how to do you that can, stuff. Too. You can do it's ongoing. All, yeah. Some people hire me to do it for them, and some people I just teach. Both. Yeah, awesome. It's a combination. Yeah. That's very cool. So, and where would they contact you for that? Um, Kathy sings for you. The number four, the letter U dot com. Okay, and then we'll drop that. Yeah. in in the shop local for good too. So I am. Really, really, really excited about this collaboration. Me too. And let's just just make one more point because you you kind of touched base on it. But what I want to make sure that people understand is, especially the vendors, the small businesses that are working with events. Um, the more that you get it out there, the more that you share. For example, the entrepreneur incubator at Market Space for Good. We're more than a shelf. So we're a collaboration, um, and we want to encourage every small business owner to understand your power in the community. When you're out there and you're promoting something, you're also building their, your neighborhood stronger. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is Thank Shop Local. Thank you, Mr. Local. Producer. Yes. This is Shop Local for Good News, and uh, we appreciate Kathy being on Thank today. Thank you for having me. I'm going to have to drag her back and kick you and screaming. We're on every Monday morning on the Tan Talk Radio Network from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Have a wonderful week, everybody. WTAN, Clearwater, FM 106.1, WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay, WZHR, Zephyr Hills, FM 104.3. Listen. It's time for the March Break Monday edition of Canada Calling, a news from home for vacationing Canadians. Prior Smith speaking from Toronto. Thanks for joining us. After a long and very tough winter, there is a race.